everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you are all doing well. It's every Big Bang music video, but it's only Taeyang's lines. The longest video. Oh, I miss this. I'm backdating my love for him. I was in love with him back then. <laughs> it's just been backdated. Oh. I am so glad that he revisited that sound in White Night. I truly think that YG were the best company for Taeyang. I think all of the other places would have just ruined him. They either wouldn't have been able to see the gem that he really is, or they would have just ruined him. <laughs> I can't wait until I figure out when he stops singing like this. Well, he sings a huge chunk of this song, doesn't he? Oh, it's changing. The voice is changing. Slowly, though. I've always said it, but GD is that person that whoever the members of Big Bang were were going to reach a certain level of success just because of GD. But he hit the absolute jackpot with the other four members. Like, look at how life works. I'm a big believer in fate and destiny, and I honestly think that this is all of that. This is that magic. Oh, he's so different here. I don't even remember this music video. <laughs> I think by the by the time he hit Haru Haru, his voice had changed a lot.
Did this include Japanese songs? I can't remember now. What does it do for the other members? It does, doesn't it? This is so Usher-esque. I mean, I think that for the other members, I've skimmed through a lot of songs just because of part distribution. This goes to show he is main vocalist. If we're putting tags and names on people, that is, although I don't believe in that. This is the Taeyang that I know. jealous of anybody that can understand Japanese. I think that Big Bang's Japanese songs are just the best.
Oh. His voice became a lot fresher, didn't it? This is such a tease for this song. <laughs> didn't change that much from the beginning. He just like grew stronger, but change wise, I just think he, he was very established within himself from debut. I think for this, he's coming to his peak now. From those Japanese songs onwards, he was hitting the best of his voice. Wow. I have forgotten all of these music videos.
My breath of fresh air. I think I just need to sit and watch all of these music videos again. I'm not even kidding. I watched some of the videos like a 
Why do I even wrap this up? What do I even say? This man was destined to share his voice with us, to be famous, to be a singer, to be on stage. It was meant to be. I actually don't think that he's changed that much since debut. I think that he had a real clear intention, a clear mind about who he wanted to be as an idol, and he's fulfilled that. I hope that he continues down that path as well. There is nobody to date that is even remotely like him, that has even tried to be like him, that can be like him. They just don't have that. I think the only noticeable change is that he stopped singing um, in that lower range. I think the Big Bang songs didn't really need him to. They sang, sang Lee are there, and Top, and Judy as well. Um, And so he could really just roam in that head voice, in that um, falsetto a lot more, and those runs take all of those golden parts of of the song, and I think that it really works. He then obviously went and really developed that part of his voice in his solo work, which I'm just so grateful for. I'm just grateful for this man, full stop, if I'm honest with you, because... He's just such a discovery for me. If you remember back when I first discovered Big Bang and I said to you that they remind me of B2K and that Taehyung reminds me of Amarian and how that world comes together and it blows my mind. And a lot of the people that I grew up listening to and that I'd idolized are also Taehyung's idols. And I really love that, like Usher. He has that sound as well, right? Neo, he has that sound. Um, Just him being a fantastic singer, being able to own the entire song from introduction, whether that's a spoken introduction or whether that's a verse, bridge, chorus, the killing part of the song, or just ad-libs. He can take any part and own it and kill it. Him dancing, the way that he moves is absolutely electric. The way that he looks has always been so unique. I've not always been a fan of the hair. You know that. I've been very honest about that. But only he can pull it off. And I will only accept it on him as well. I have loved going through this and watching this. And yeah, he has the most lines. And it really doesn't matter. I'll go back to that fact that he could have five seconds in a line and he would still make the same amount of impact. And it's quite funny, me sitting down and doing this, because I keep saying to you that, oh, these are all my favorite bits. But they're really not, because... Clearly, the whole song is my favourite bit because it's every member. It just reminds me how important each member is, how important the writing of the songs are, um, that they're just so perfectly written for each member. That's the unique selling point of Big Bang, I feel. Um, If I could go back, like I said, I want to backdate this and I'm going to go back and have his poster on my wall and have all of the magazines that he is on the cover of, and own everything that he is plastered on, and has his name on, 
that's the kind of fangirl I want to be for Taehyung. That's how he makes me feel because he gives his 100%. So you naturally want to give your 100% as well. I love his personality, especially when he gets a little bit stern, a little bit sassy, a bit funny. And I just love how unique he is in all honesty. There ain't nobody like Taehyung out there. Bring on the end of April. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel for lots more content. Like the video if you liked it, of course. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye.